Welcome to the first of far too many debates, literally more than a year before you'll actually have the chance to vote for anyone. Joining us is the current front runner, who we've positioned in the center even though they don't need any extra attention. Thank you. And thank America. Next, someone you've never heard of who will make no lasting impression on anybody and will be forgotten soon after the debate. <laughs> I'm just happy to have been invited. Next up, a woman. Actually, I'd appreciate it if we didn't focus on the fact that I was a woman, unless, of course, it's beneficial to me at the time. A complete whack job who's having an unsettling amount of success pandering to other total whack jobs. We have to kill the fish. We also have a political outsider who's absolutely not qualified to run a country. As someone who, who has done no political or, or government work, I, I feel like I can not only relate to you, but also be able to fake my way through the next three to five years, uh, however long a person is president for. I'd like to point out that I'm also on the outside, an outsider. I'm not like these uh, congressmen, uh, these senators. I'm a governor. I'm sure that's not the only time any of you will disrespect me or the rules of this debate, but thanks for introducing yourself. And finally, this one. I would like you to please make me president because you recognize my name from other earlier presidents. Now the first question goes to the person we're all here to see, this walnut over here. Now you've said some seemingly unreasonable and borderline Hitlerian things over the years. Would you like to explain those things, ignore me entirely, or double down on those things? Well, I think I've been pretty clear uh, in terms of how unclear I wanted to be on that. Now, I said some things which I did say, but you may think I didn't say them. I said them, and I want you to be sure to know that whatever it was, I agree with it, whatever it is. And remember, a vote for me is a vote for whatever it is I said when I was recently saying it, but I wasn't sure of what it was. But you get me if you vote for that. Front runner, would you like to even bother? Sure, I might as well. It's only a matter of time before he's irrelevant and I'm President of the United States. Lame duck, our response. A forgettable beige candidate, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Our response. A actually, I'd like to avoid answering the question. So America is good, but it still needs some work. <laughs> Forward is it, that's what. And uh, gun to my head? Here's an unrelated statistic that probably isn't even accurate. But furthermore, yes. Thank you. And you, as a woman, do you think it's relevant that I brought up your gender just now? Actually, I think it's completely irrelevant and insulting. My record speaks for itself. That being said, I do think it would be nice to have the first woman president. So. Anyone else? Um, well, I'm not here because I think I'll be president. I don't at all. But if I can keep myself near the spotlight, I can possibly get a pretty sweet and steady gig as a political pundit for the rest of my life. So remember me slightly, please. But not enough to make me president. The thought absolutely terrifies me. You know, remember me a little. And now we're going to go to a social networking site to see what some random person wants to know. What do you think? It, it, is it? So here's the name of something that I did. And I didn't do it well, but I'm saying it with confidence so you won't bother looking it up. You've certainly never even heard of it. Perfect. Now I'd like to ask you, what is your plan to get this country out of debt? Can I answer your direct question with a series of unrelated platitudes? I cannot stop you. Excuse me, but I've gotten basically the same amount of time as everyone here, but I didn't use it to say anything of notes, so I'm going to complain for a moment. Now, everyone, look at me. Okay, thanks. Uh, real quick, I would just like to show some kindness to my opponents, even though for some reason it will be perceived as weak. A wet noodle of a statement from some guy up there. Now, I'd like to give everyone some time for closing statements. Well, I'd like oh, to... I'm sorry, the company that owns our news outlet has given large sums of money to your campaign, so I'd prefer if you went last. Anyone else? I'd like to give a watered-down summary of what I said all uh, night. Me too, actually. Same. One last time. I would like to blatantly pander to everyone's jingoistic instincts and their unfounded fear of foreigners. And our predetermined winner? My fellow Americans, vote for me in more than a year. You're basically going to have to. Couldn't agree more. Wait, 
I don't have to do this for a whole year, right? Yeah, you're done. You're good. You can moderate the next one if you want. Thanks for watching part one of 27 of tonight's presidential debate. We'll be back in a moment. A half-hearted thank you for watching at least 15 seconds of this video. A further demand that you like, subscribe, and share to boost our revenue. And lastly, a joke we threw together just now.